Last time on Fire Emblem Echoes, Shadows of Valentia. Oh, can you not look at this? Whoa, why can't I do this? <laughs> hey guys, Raiden here, and welcome back to Fire Emblem Echoes, Shadows of Valentia. I know a lot of people have been waiting to see this series again, just because, uh, for those of you in the future, I'm saying this on every single series, so sorry if it's getting repetitive for me saying this, but I was sick for a while, and this series people had to wait the longest, but then again, I put more episodes out for this series in such a short amount of time just due to how easy it is to get out as opposed to other series. So, first things first, obviously what I did last episode, people did not like. Some people were like, dude, go for it. Uh, but most people were like, uh, you should really think about this. I'm not sure turning Jenny into a cavalier is really the best idea. So I went back and I changed it again. Um, I went back to when I pitchforked her and actually made her back into a cleric, which means she has boosted stats from where she was before, so good for her. But to just let you guys know, I did this because you guys recommended it to me and it was probably the most sensible option. But where this, where this idea came from was people at the beginning of the series going, I won't watch this, your villager choices are too boring. Then it went to, I won't watch this, I'm giving weapons to the wrong people. And then it went to, I won't watch this, you reclass Jenny into the wrong thing, so... Uh, I do respect your opinion, but, um... If you don't want to watch, go ahead and don't do it. I mean, it doesn't bother me, you're probably just... You're gonna spend your time some other way that you'll enjoy more. Anyways, let's... Finally go in here. I was so worried after we finished it. I remember, uh... Finishing up through the pirate throne area, and then hitting here. And, um, <laughs> and I was just like, oh no, where'd they go? Did I forget to talk to them with Celica? But no, they're just waiting right here for us. By the way, I had a bunch of people telling me how great uh, Jenny's invoke ability is. I absolutely hate it. It sounds so cool in theory, and it's something I've always wanted Fire Emblem to have, like summons, like uh, FF Tactics. Although the summons work a little different in there than they do here, but still, it's pretty cool. But they almost caused me to fail the entire pirate level because they clumped up and got in the way and I couldn't get any of my units in there. It was a little on the ridiculous side. That makes me wonder, I don't think there are, but are there any dancers in this game? I don't think so. I was just thinking about that. Anyways, let's talk to Volbar. Ho oh, ho! Oh, look who the cat dragged in! I'm Valbar, by the way. You really saved my bacon back there. And since that bastard Barth is dead, my family can finally rest. Aw, oh, poor guy. Uh, right. Sorry. Got a little emotional there for a second. So, hey, uh, is there anything I can do to thank you? You seem really upbeat for your whole family being dead. <laughs> I'll be honest. I'm not good at much besides cracking skulls. Don't worry, that's all we need you for. We're not a diplomacy team here. But if you need skulls cracked, I'm your man. What do you say? Yeah. I'll take you now. You're going off with them, old friend? Well, they'd better make room, because I go where you go. Thank you, fabulous friend. No complaints about that, right? Everybody on the same page? Great. I already like you better than Toby. You joining up with this lot, Valbar? Interesting. Well, it's your call. I don't have a preference either way. Oh, but let me ask you one question. Do you have Seraphim magic? Yeah, we do. Salika does have it. If not, then you'd best stay clear of the Seabound Shrine. Necro dragons are the one thing I absolutely refuse to tangle with. Well, you know where we're going next, right, Kamui? <laughs> we're going to the Necro dragons, aren't we? Yep, that's where we're going. <laughs> You two are coming? Well, obviously. I go where you go. That's the deal. And I don't care who doesn't like it. And I just go wherever the money flows like wine. <laughs> you jokers are a couple of real class acts. You ever stop to think that maybe you're being rude to the priestess? She's on a holy mission to... Uh, uh, a mission of... It's important, okay? I didn't even tell you guys. You guys are literally gonna kill people because why not? <laughs> It's all right, Belbar. They're welcome to come along if they like. It's an honor and a pleasure to have such capable company. They've both proven their skill, and can be rather amusing to boot. 
I literally didn't even explain my situation for you. I could be some crazy genocide woman, and you guys don't even know. You're just like, well, you're pretty good, so we'll go with you. <laughs> so I thank you, one and all, for brightening our journey. Aw, oh, shucks, my lady. We should be the ones thanking you. My, my, that was some praise. I thought I'd give at least 50%, but now you get all of it. You know me. I'll give you as much as you pay me for. So if I stop paying you, you'll just die on the battlefield? Did you jokers hear anything I just said? <laughs> Selica, do you really have all the money to pay all these people? I know you're rich, but you literally could only pay... <laughs> you could only pay Saber in daggers. And smiles, that's it. And let me tell you, an army can only go so long off a smile unless it's Jenny's. Shark? Were they really eating sharks? That's actually kind of impressive. What do you mean that's kind of impressive? I mean, sharks are delicious. Uh, actually, they don't taste that great. It's a ship's anchor, and well used from the look of it. Oh, I was hoping Valbar was gonna pick it up and be like, This is my weapon, by the way. You got leftover ale. Alright, let's check the next room. I've been excited to see what was in there. The treasure vaults, of course, the best part. Old people, you are the treasure. You are now Selica's slaves. <laughs> but ma'am, they trapped us in here for nine days. Well, that's good. You're gonna be trapped in me for your, the rest of your goddamn life. <laughs> Selica of a kleptomaniac slaver. God, I'm turning this character into a great person. As a boy, Regal's Emperor Rudolf was as fine a crown prince as you could desire. But since ascending to the throne, well, something has certainly changed. Still, I continue to place my faith in him, as must we all. Okay. You're going to the Seabound Shrine, eh, Priestess? Oh, I've heard tale of a wondrous treasure that sleeps there. But while I like a bit of coin as much as the next, I'd urge you to reconsider. Wait, who even are you guys? You guys don't seem like you're prisoners. Where did you come from? from? A necro dragon filled with deadly purpose is said to haunt that place. Steel won't even tickle its hide. They say it scoffs at all but seraphim magic. I know, I heard. Oh, aren't these the guys from the uh, docks? Why did they all come? I thought it was only the old guy. We're sailors from Regal, we is. We owes you our freedom. Oh, I guess they are prisoners then. Never mind. Sophie and pirate scum ride the sea like they owns it. But what's our emperor do? Not a damn thing. Guess his precious war is all he cares about. Just what kind of man's he become anyway? I don't know, man. I'm just here for the treasure. I don't care about any of you, okay? Where's that goddamn treasure? Steel sword. Ramline. Rusted shield. Iron sword. My, my, look at all this pirate booty. <laughs> A cog. Cool, we got another one. Iron sword. Wow, they're just giving us stuff. How come I can't open these treasure chests? Why not? Money. I'm tempted to fill my pockets, but that would make me no better than a pirate. What do you mean? You don't even know who this gold belongs to at this point. This is just collected by the pirates. Just pick it up and put it in your pocket. It belongs to no one, Celica. Stealing from pirates is not stealing. I wonder if there's any way to return all this to its rightful owners. There is no way. It's not like we even know who they got it from. They're pirates. Hopefully I didn't miss anything, because I do happen to miss a lot in these, usually. Oh, what do you two want? Blah, I don't like sea travel, and it sure doesn't like me. Oh my god, you get me, dude. For those of you who don't know, I've talked about it a few times, but I get motion sick really bad, it doesn't matter what vehicle I'm in, or anything over like a 20 minute ride, I will be, like, heaving. That's how bad it is. Ocean, plane, car, doesn't matter. You get me, man. I'm nauseous, I'm sunburned, and I'm windbeaten. Oh, I understand you. I look like death's damp leftovers. But you look fresh as a daisy, priestess. What's your secret? Um, money? <laughs> what? Nothing? Nothing? 
But you look like a dew dappled angel. Oh, that's so annoying. Well, youth is great and all, but don't expect it to last. Thanks, Mr. Fabulous. Hey there, priestess. How you holding up? If there's yeah, anything I, I can do yet. to help, just say the word. I'm serious. No need to hold back. I owe you my life, after all. Gives me chills to think how I could have died before getting revenge. My family owes you as well. So it's up to me to pay you back on their behalf. Cool. So I wanted to show you guys real quick. Um, I want to look at our new troops first of all, but I want to show you how our other ones are doing. Silica's is doing fantastic. She's doing as a lord should. I did give her boots, so she does have five movement now, which is wonderful. Um, May is doing just as good as before, pretty much. Uh, she's still a little lacking in speed, and definitely lacking in defense, but that's how she is. And uh, she's doing fine. This time around, I was able to give Bowie more levels than I did before. Before, I gave him practically none, and he's he's not becoming impressive, but he's becoming usable, so. Next, we have Jenny, whose stats are off the scale, mainly because of Taurus Shard, and the fact that she is reclassed basically twice, um, which brought her attack up to 11 at level 4, which is pretty damn ridiculous. Uh, we have Saber, who is doing just fine. Um, definitely going to switch out uh, this for the Steel Sword. Which works. And, well, it depends on who has the higher speed stat. Saber does, so the Steel Sword does work better for him. I'm going to give Kamui the Iron Sword. We're going to give Celica the Golden Dagger. So let's look at their stats. Valbar has a whopping 14 attack. He's one of the people that I'm thinking of reclassing. I do want to do some crazier reclasses. Uh, just because, I don't know, Armor Knights seem to be probably not that good in this game, I'd imagine. Their movement probably slows them down just like any other Fire Emblem game. But seeing as how in this game everyone's movement seems to be relatively high as they promote and level up, and these guys just aren't, so... He's a possibility, but I think I want to do more crazy stuff than that. We have Leon, who is absolutely fabulous at all times. I love this guy's design. Um, there's a You guys said that if I liked how Leon looked, there was another red-haired man that I definitely love, so looking forward to that. Um, attack plus two. He comes with an iron bow and has some decent stats. His defense and resistance are a little scary. Holy shit. He has four speed right now? Dude, I need to unequip you from even using the bow. Um, you're gonna take some grinding to get up there. You're not terrible, but you're not fantastic. And Kamui, who actually has some pretty decent bases, minus his luck and resistance. Um, would like it if he had some more skill, but hey. Can't have everything. Cool. Man, I'm really enjoying this game. You guys... Um, I, I, I can't be thankful enough for just how many people watch my videos because this series wouldn't even have been possible had people not started watching my videos because, once again, uh, revenue from videos went into my capture card, which is still working fantastically now that I've had it, uh, repaired once, so. I'm planning to do that Necro Dragon stuff over there because that seems completely optional. Like, you can skip right around and go to here, where is... Oh, this is where Ulm is. I don't know how I didn't notice that before. But yeah, you could completely skip that, but we're not going to. We're going to take down that damn Necro Dragon. Every time someone says Necro, it reminds me of a uh, Necro Lord from Suikoden 2. Third pirate raid. I know people were saying like these maps are pirate hell, but for some reason they don't bother me. Whoa, go ship. So like, I think the thing that bothers me more than he's going to conjure some shit. Fruit of life, he doesn't look very alive. So, as I was saying, what bores me more than like a boring map like this, this is fine to me, I'm actually happy with it. What bores me more is a giant map with nothing on it. Okay, yeah, we're definitely gonna be dealing with some illusions or some such here. He, cause, because he does have Miasma, Conjure, and Incantation. Or Incarnation, sorry. Uh, resource 5 HP each turn, that's troublesome. Uh, summons evil beings from the darkness. And then he has Poison Magic. That's rad. But Poison and Fire Emblem kind of sucks, so it's not too big of a deal, honestly. Whoops, I don't want to start yet. I want to move Saber up. Sorry, Jenny, we don't need you immediately over here. I mean, we could... I do want to show off the Conjure Illusions thing. So, you know what? Maybe we will. 
for the people who haven't played this game There's yet. only one of them? What's going on here? <laughs> so you're the girl, eh? Serving you up on a platter will earn me a swift promotion within the Fade. Now that I've washed this place clean of pirate vermin, you will come with me. Are you out of your mind, old man? We're in a hurry here and you're in our way. So would you kindly get out of it? Impudent child! Such a glib tongue will earn you nothing but pain. <laughs> Do you honestly plan to take us on all by yourself? Chloe, don't say that. Wait a second. Is he? Oh no. Watch out, everyone. He's a canter. He means to summon terrors to fight for him. He means to summon... Wait, what? Don't worry, we can summon our own terrors. Isn't that right, Are Jenny? Ready to roll? Yes, we're always ready to roll. Okay, so... Jenny has a skill called Invoke, where she can summon uh, illusory soldiers, 8 max. And I don't know if it's random, the amount you get, or if it's based off of something. But it seems to be random, so we're going to invoke some right here. Uh, that was marvelous. So we got six. Now here comes the catch. I can't control them. I can't tell them really what to me. do. So all we can really do is wait and hope they anything. don't clog up the way. I mean, hopefully they do clog it up, but it can lead to some minor inconveniences. And their stats are not bad. They don't have enough speed to double most enemies, but they have really high attack. And I'm not sure if it scales with uh, Jenny's level or her magic stat. It's unclear. Luckily, though, even though these two can't fire from all the way across... We have Leon who can do I'll it. Handle this myself. Leon, pick me up out of this trash can. <laughs> so yeah, they're just gonna do that. Jenny needs to be healed, which is fine. I forgot, Celica, it says she can use white magic, but that's right, she doesn't have any yet. So Jenny's just gonna be low. Okay, oh, no, no. I got this. I know you have- wait, she can invoke again? Yeah, so the bad part about invoke is that if they kill them, or if the invoke soldiers kill an enemy, not even Jenny gets XP. And since they're fighting uh, just random terrors, they're actually going to be able to double, I believe. Yeah, because the terrors have such low stats. So, they're gonna be very useful here, but I'd prefer just to get other people XP as opposed to, well, this. Although they are being very helpful, without killing them, even. Luckily, they can't crit, so that does help. But see what I mean as they clog up the way. But luckily... Oh, that's right, Leon doesn't have an extended range bow right now. Which does kind of suck, but... We're gonna try to get in there best we can. I never actually got to use Lucas. So, Volbar's gonna be our first knight that we get to use. He looks dependable. I love the holding the weapon in the shield hand. That absolutely gets me every time. We have Kamui, who's looking rad. I love Kamui's design, I don't know. Like, Kamui and Saber are my favorite. A lot of you guys are talking about Grey, and I know a lot of people really like Grey. I really don't. And it's just like, it's, it's not a matter of him being a bad character, it's more of like, personality-wise. Like, I don't know. He seems kind of like, cocky and almost like a jerk, although... It seems like he's a nice person. But, eh. So, I'm not sure if these illusions are just gonna practically clear the level for us. But, uh, if they do, so be it. That was a cool animation. I mean, that, that probably always has been one of my favorite um, abilities in all of fantasy. Like, just the ability to, like, conjure fake soldiers, I think is the coolest thing in the world. 
Like, normally, I'd love it and be super down for this. But, um... Here, where I can't control them, it becomes a large issue. Especially on maps with a lot of choke points, it creates problems. Which I could probably just have fixed myself and get XP from it, but... We can't exactly have everything we want now, can we? So he's probably gonna conjure some more. Or not. Anyways, we can start moving across now. Although I have a feeling our illusion soldiers are going to steal all of the experience here. Uh, yep. Everyone just move up. Oh, he summoned five this time. I should really turn off the animation for the illusion soldiers. Because <laughs> it's like watching the same animation over and over and over again. I understand that if you use amiibos that you can actually have the amiibos as illusions, which is sick, and I have amiibos, but the issue is I I don't have the Amiibo connector for my DS because my DS that I use for just playing things is a new one and that has Amiibo support built in. Okay, well at least we can get some kills off of this. Let's get Celica a kill with black magic. I fight to protect what is dear. Is Celica the first hybrid lord ever? May the strength be enough to keep. And by hybrid, I mean like, can you use swords and magic? I'm trying to think in my head, but well, I guess if you count Corin with the uh, dragon stones. Oh wait, no, what am I saying, Robin? I feel like an idiot. But Robin's not a lord. Never mind. No, I, I can't think of any. Maybe an FE5. I don't know what the hell Leaf can do. <laughs> I haven't played that game. I guess we're all just gonna move in, because there's not much else we can really do. Oh, does it still have the button thing, like in Awakening and Fates? Hold on. I'm gonna try to do it. Yes, it does. Okay, cool. I can turn off animations uh, mid-turn. Oh, yeah. He can do a number on the illusions, though. The illusions can barely hit him. Is he standing on a... Yeah, he's standing on a supply tile. Luckily, though, magic ignores those tiles, but I think he has pretty high resistance, so... That's a downside. And May and Bowie are still pretty far away. But we have Celica, who can actually do it, but... Oh, she's Seraphim Magic. Does he count as a... I guess he himself does not count as a terror, does he? And Celica will die if she does anything anyway. He'll double, he'll double her for all of her health. Valbar undoubtedly will also die. Oh my goodness, that's even worse. And I don't even think... Well, he actually... Oh, that's right, I gave him the... Draco shield, so he has pretty high resistance. I forgot about that. What about you? You can do three damage with... Oh god, that hit. I could give him a kill if I did that. I don't think he's gonna move off the tile, though, so I think we're pretty safe in that respect. I can actually attack him from out of range, though. I didn't think about that with a Thunder Tome. So let's do that. I mean, he's still standing on a supply tile, so that's one thing, but... I need to get Jenny across so she can start healing people. We're not invoking more illusions right now, Jenny. I'm gonna do that so many times by accident. I don't even know why I did that, but... 
Actually, that's actually something I really like about this game, is that when you just move a white magic unit next to someone, it's so easy just to heal them and it doesn't feel like a hassle. Like, I don't have to go down to a staff menu and then go to heal or anything like that. Which is not a whole lot of Fire Emblem games that do that anymore, but still. I'll show you guys the Seraphim magic. I haven't actually seen the animation for it either. It's like a shiny ball I of must light. Complete my mission. Um, that should be it. Aside from killing him, that is. So we can actually have someone stand on the tile next to him and get a void if the illusions aren't getting through, so. But they're gonna die fighting him, so that doesn't matter. I'm gonna skip the turn because it's just gonna be illusions fighting him. So, let's see how far they get him down. Down to 24, that's not bad. So what we can do is we can actually get in here with Saber, and he will be able to fight him just fine. Oh shit! When, to quit. How's that? when you want to fight the boss, but you don't need to because Saber's... Okay, well... Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute, that means Leon might actually be able to get this kill. Let's go, Leon. Holy shit. Good job, dude. Brute force alone won't get you anywhere. I mean, not the best and gross, but skill's what you need. Skill helps. Fruit of life. I wonder what that does. I'll have to look at it. The only Miller people... Has seen us through safely. Yeah, so that is a tiny bit of a problem with using the illusions, though, is this. Once again, sorry if I forget to edit out a lot of my sniffles this episode. Um, my sinus is kind of, uh... Not still great. Like, I don't feel bad, but... It's just, I don't sound great. I'm mostly over it, though. That's the good part. I'm mostly over. over my cold. Thank the mother. Milady, what was that all about? That creep was talking about serving you up or some such? I don't know, Bowie. But he was different from the others who have come after me. And I fear he won't be the last. So we'd best be extra careful moving forward. They just tiptoe all the way back to the boat. You said extra careful. I hate you, Bowie. I hate you so much. <laughs> Bowie's actually one of the smarter people in this group, I have to say. Alright, let's fight that goddamn Necro Dragon. But it appears that he's actually inside of, like, a uh, dungeon, so... We might find some new enemies, and we might find some uh, management we're gonna have to do with the stamina system, which is honestly not that bad. Or fatigue, I mean. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Hey, Priestess! <laughs> I love how immediately he's like, uh, this is not the pirate ship. Where is this? Did you forget our little chat about staying clear of the Seabound Shrine? Because this is not staying clear, this is the exact opposite of staying clear. <laughs> oh, he's freaking out. I'm sorry, did we discuss that? I must have been preoccupied. Oh my goodness. What if there's something of use here? Surely you would want to... Oh, I remember now. You're scared of necro dragons, aren't you, Kamui? Who wouldn't be? What do you mean you're scared of a necro dragon? How careless of me. It completely slipped my mind. Oh my goodness. It did not slip your mind, Celica. Slipped your mind? That's it. I'm waiting on the boat. <laughs> what? Uh, actually. <laughs> Wait, it's outside? It's not in the dun- Oh, shit. I thought it was in the dungeon. Wait, where is it? Oh, look at it! It's super tiny! Ugh! It's not a dragon, that's a lizard with no soul. Jesus Christ. He's carrying a blessed ring, though. Uh, so they have- They're flying units, of course. They have fangs. 
which are sharp fangs. Thank you, game. And they have... They are terrors, so Seraphim magic works well. They have very high resistances and such, but their speed is so low, they can't really double you. So this is going to be fun. Um, does this one have anything different? He actually has recovery, so because he's on the recovery tile, that's why. Uh, yeah, all right. Are their attacks magic? No, because they're using their fangs. All right, let's do this. I'm so happy we get to fight monsters again. I've been wanting this since FE8 so bad. And the monsters and, uh, like, uh, I guess you'd call them monsters from Faiths. What a horrifying creature. But I have the Seraphim spell in my quiver now. May its light guide your lost soul onto slumber eternal. Jesus, Celica. Damage types. Some damage types. Yes, I know. Wait, like a blessed sword? Huh. Some damage or some types of attacks yield especially great damage on the right type of foe. Holy attacks are feared by terrors, for example, while bows are the nemesis of flying units. Isn't it kind of late to tell people about bows and flying units now? <laughs> okay, Valbar, how about you tank this? I know you can do it. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute, though. He's going to double you. How much defense do you have? Oh, you have 12 defense. You'll be fine. We'll just crowd around you, though. Don't worry. Feeling good. You are not feeling good, Kamui. That is the biggest lie you've ever told. Ready anytime. I'm ready to run. A lot of you guys keep asking me how I feel about Cliff for some reason. And I don't really understand that, because, like, I he I don't know anything about him aside from the school thing. That's about it. Seems kind of, like, standoffish, though. Whoa, those enemies look really cool. They look really cool. Although, now we have a different problem. <laughs> Seraphim magic! Wow, she can do a number. But before that, let's take down this guy. I know Jenny doesn't have anything like... Oh! Oh no. Oh no. Okay, so here's what we do. We stand everyone who can survive. Can he fly over us? No, I don't think so, but he can certainly fly around. Um, okay, who will die if engaging these two? You won't die. You, surprisingly, will not also die. What about this guy, though? They're actually not that scary. One damage. What is this? So Thunder's gonna work best here. Ooh, nice crit! Getting really lucky in this game. Let's go, Kamui. Face your fears. Never mind. Nose for Ratsu, nose for Ratsu. Nosferatu by Iron Mask. Good song. Uh, seems I have made an error. Let me know. We can still do this. I just have to be careful with how we do it. We're going to have to chip him down bit by bit. Good job, Bowie. Knew I could count on you. I feel myself getting stronger lately. Nice growth. I heard he is a little on the speed-screwed side, though, so... Hands off! What is with the crits? Uh, Holy I'm shit, trying. Leon! <laughs> what is with you, man? What's got you all motivated? 5% crits in, like... Who needs healing? Uh... What's this guy's attack again? 16? We'll survive. 
Um, Jenny, how about you heal someone? Because you'll survive no matter what happens. Alright. It'll be fine. You go get him! Well, that was easy. <laughs> we have a lot of supports we can do. So you know what, we'll actually do that. But first... Seraphim magic! I'm feeling rough. I know you're not feeling good right now, buddy. You're just gonna have to do your best, okay? But we really can't do that much to him, in all honesty. We don't have any blessed weapons, and our only real shot at this is taking pot shots out of a magic. And that's exactly what we're gonna do. Oh shoot, that's not enough healing. That is super not enough healing. You're a lifesaver. Dolvar, get in front of him. <laughs> that deflect. One damage at a time. We'll get there. Saber, sadly, you're not close enough to do much. I mean, he won't kill her. It's the good part. I like how they kind of do these exasperated, uh... Like, kind of yells when they're in trouble and they're attacking. That's neat. I just noticed that. Like, she's like, shit, I'm gonna die, so. Uh. Still in this. Stella, go at your level. You're six. You'll be fine for a bit. Oh, you're gonna kill it anyway. So I'll just let you do it. Level up for Celica. May the strength be enough to keep my friends safe. Do you see this slow Kaya? Lords, magic lords can do well. You got the blessed ring. Cool. That was a close call. Is everyone all right? They're all fine. Now we can go in the dungeon! You on the ward, Shrine Keep, rewarded for defeating the Necro Dragon at the Seabound Shrine. Cool. Wait, is that- Oh, we can go inside, okay. First, I want to check out what that was that we got. Blessed Ring. A ring with healing properties. Does it heal someone every turn? I feel like that's what it does. In that case, Svalbar, why don't you take it? Okay, let's head inside then. That's right, we can only take a certain amount of people though. Oh, we only have eight, so we're good. I still have not found a way to forge weapons yet. I guess we still don't have access to that feature. Oh, that's super cool how she makes a little flame for herself. And Alm puts on the lantern, that's neat. The air of the cave bears the scent of the ocean. There's no sign of anyone coming through here. Scared off by the Necro Dragon, I imagine. Huh. 
Okay, um... They just seem to be generic terrors. Oh, we can do some supports, though. <sighs> What's wrong, May? It's not like you to sigh so aggressively. Is there some way I can help? Oh, it's nothing important. It's just... Well, I was wondering... Do you think girls should be all delicate and proper in junk? <clears throat> Well, I suppose I think there's room for every girl to be herself. Wait, you mean it? Uh, I think you need to take a look at a certain girl called Miu. You're pretty proper and damn delicate. Oh, but you're super nice, so of course you'd say that. You don't count. <laughs> I don't count? Oh, enough of this, May. What's your real problem? What? Uh, okay, so here's the thing. Hypothetically, just hypothetically, let's say there was someone I liked. So you mean Bowie? Someone I'd always been close to, but who never saw me as a woman. I mean, in that case, I'd have to be the problem, right? I don't... Oh. <gasps> oh! <laughs> I don't think you need to worry, May. You're a wonderful woman. You're kind and cheerful, and you always encourage your friends to keep going. You're an absolute catch just the way you are. Have confidence in yourself. Aw, oh, jeez. I'm blushing. I mean, hypothetically. We're still just talking hypothetically, right? Uh, yes. Yes, of course. <laughs> hey. Thanks, though. Really. Oh, that's kind of sweet. <laughs> I kind of like the way Selica responded to that. She's like... Well, I, I don't know, this is kind of... Oh, okay, yeah. No, you're good. <laughs> Let's go, Jenny. Actually, no, you're better off healing people. You're the best! I feel calmer. I should probably take that stone off Jenny. She doesn't really need it anymore. With her heightened bases, right. so I'll handle this. <laughs> Leave the heavy lifting to me. His attack growth must be pretty high. I'll handle this myself. Okay, Leon, surely you can get this one. <laughs> that was an aggressive spin because I sped it up. The screen looked like it shook. This feels funny, and not the ha ha kind. Oh, Leon. Well, Kamui by himself is doing pretty damn great. Doesn't feel like I need to feed him a ridiculous Too amount to easy. catch up, unlike, uh, Leon. Although Leon's not that bad. So yeah, like I did last time, chances are I won't show any more of the Honestly, fights in this area. That was pretty much perfect back there. Yeah, we did do perfect, pretty much, except for everyone missing. Um, I'm not gonna show any of the other fights in the area unless there's, like, a brand new enemy that you've never seen before. Bread. <laughs> oh shit, I missed that super hard. Ah, oh, they're just more flaming terrors. That was the shortest dungeon ever. <laughs> I feel like I missed something, so before we go to the Mila Idol... Hold on, or Mila Idol. Because there was nothing in here, there was no treasure room or anything. I'm gonna level up for Kamui. Apparently I can get it. It's like my favorite game. <laughs> Not my favorite game, but like... The fact that there's so many Myrmidons in the game makes me happy. And they're not, like, worthless. <laughs> well, I don't think I missed anything in the dungeon. I just think that there's, like, no treasure room or anything. There's just a shrine, which is fine. But... None of us are... Qualified to do any class changes yet. But we can talk to people. What the hell? Sparkles. 
Memory Prism? Memory Prism. You can use Mila's turn wheel to unlock these crystallized memories and view them. How? What? I feel like I missed one. <laughs> Maybe not. Somebody, please! Please help me! Princess Antis! Her real name is Antis? Who are you? I am Sir Myson, your highness. I served your father as a knight. I'm here to take you to safety. Come with me. You were very brave to hang on all by yourself, your highness. <laughs> it was terrible! I woke up, and smoke was everywhere! It was hot, and it hurt, and... And no one came to help, even when I yelled as loud as I could! Well, I am here now, and I won't let anything bad happen to you. Now take my hand, quickly! Just say, he aims to leave no witnesses alive. I'm afraid things may get a little bumpy, your highness. So she's getting chased because to say did something. Whatever you do, don't leave my side. I won't. Oh, but wait. Where's my brother? Where's Conrad? Sir Lyson, you have to save my brother, please. Your highness, I, I checked every room on my way to you. There are none left alive. It pains me to say this. But I fear Conrad is no longer with us. No! No! Conrad! Where's the princess? Desai's orders are to bring back her head, so somebody find her now! I'm glad Meissen and Desai never age. <clears throat> the time for grief will come, princess. For now, you must survive. Come, we must be off. Uh, all right, I'm coming. Well, that was happy. Nothing bad happening. Hey, what do you guys want to talk about? Sorry, uh, the statue just showed me a vision. Is that, yes, you there, please. F food, anything, I beg of you. Sure. No, this food is mine. I stole it fair and square. Um, here, have some flour. Sorry, but I was thinking something a bit more, you know, meaty, a bit meatier, more like meat. You got any meat? Oh, wow, I gave you flour to eat, and you're just being an ass about it. Have this sausage. Well, oh, many thanks. I'm finally starting to feel human again. I'm a fisherman. All of Zovia Harbor knows of me, so they do. But ten days ago, I ran into a fearsome storm that washed me ashore here. Thank Mila, I'm saved. I thought. I keep saying Mila, Mila, but it's Mila. I thought. Then the Necro Dragon showed up. I ran in here and hid, but my food stores ran out, and well, you can see. Eh, the Necro Dragon is dead by your hand? Well, that's marvelous news. I can go home now. Let, here, let me see if this is all I have, but please take it. Woo, money! Your renown has increased. What does that even mean? Oh, did you know about this place? They say that the shrine's also the tomb of a priestess who, uh, what protected this region. Tales say she was given a grand burial along with her trusty blade. Can't say I saw anything like that here, though, and I walked around a fair bit. Did feel a breeze coming by the well in the back. If you're thinking to explore, I'd tell you to start there. Well, I'm off to patch my boat and sail her back to Sophia. Safe travels, one and all. So there's a sword in the well, huh? Are these two Myrmidons talking to each other? Hey there, Priestess. Good on you for keeping at it. I guess they're mercenaries right now. Me? I can't imagine giving my all for a gig that doesn't pay. No one asked you to solve this mess, let alone paid you, yet here you are. Seems like your job is a tougher one than I'm willing to take on. Makes me wonder if the gods are really worth all that trouble. I know a lot of people. I saw an article on the Reddit the other day, or the Fire Emblem Reddit, and someone was like, um, Shadows of Valencia's uh, animation should be a gold standard for Fire Emblem. 
And I'd like a good mixture of both, honestly. I'd like a mixture of realism, like the unsheathing the sword and the dodge attacks, mixed with some of the flashiness from the GBA games, with like the teleporting and the jumping and these ridiculous things, you know? <sighs> For a proper looking little lady, you sure pull some crazy stunts, lass. I didn't think I'd be bum-rushing a pirate fort as soon as I took this job. Doesn't exactly bode well for the future, if I'm honest. Huh? You promise no more detours? <laughs> that and some gold can buy me a pint. Well, I, I know I promised that, but we just fought a Necro Dragon that we didn't have to, so... Oh, yeah. Yeah, I totally needed your tip to find out that there was a breeze in here. Thanks, mister. So what do we have? Yeah, we'll go through there in a second. So we have HP. And we have skill. You need this, man. You need skill bad. May's lacking it, so we'll give... One to May, but the thing is she can get by anyways. We'll give one to Leon. And then we're gonna give an HP to May, because she's a little on the frail side. Oh, this goes further back, huh? Probably more enemies. Coral fragment? Oh, good thing there's soup sitting on the floor. I guess Celica's like Goku and she'll just eat anything. One luck growth, that's it. Oh, but he can become a sniper now, which hopefully fixes him a lot. <laughs> I swear I'm trying to train Bowie as much as I can, but every single time he casts a spell, he misses. Oh! Saber can become a Myrmidon. Yeah, we're definitely gonna turn around, uh, de-fatigue Kamui, and promote some people. Unless it's just one hallway Honestly, and we're almost at the end I of it. was pretty much perfect back there. There is another enemy, but it looks like this is... Not quite. Yeah, I don't know how far this goes on, and those look like two gigantic gargoyles, so... We're gonna go back, defatigue, and promote. And now we can do some promoting! Leon, congrats, you're a sniper, which gives you... Barely anything except movement and HP. Don't worry, though, you're fabulous, so... Doesn't matter how bad you are. I'm excelling beyond words! You're really not, but it's okay. And Saber! You can become a Mirrodin! I wonder what his Myrmidon design looks like. Ooh, that's neat. Just gets a cape. All right then, challenge accepted. And some movement. The movement is the best part about the class promotions, honestly. It's the most important part. All right, in that case, let us go. Level up for Celica with My skills on the some nice growths. And she can now use Thunder. Okay, never mind. Looks fine. <laughs> I thought his waist cloth was his cape clipping through his back. <laughs> I don't know why it was so funny to be just the way her face paused. Oh. <laughs> uh... Is Mela pulling strings for me, or what? 
Damn, Maze Groats. And she learned something called Aura. I feel myself getting stronger. Bowie, you need speed. You need speed really badly. All right, let's see what's in the room with the scary gargoyles, because they show up on the map as enemies, but they're not moving. Which is the scary part. I'll just be passing by. Oh shit, I, I, it just screeched to me. Uh, um, um, Celica's not here. Leave Celica alone. Oh good, they can't go through the door. <laughs> What is she doing? Why is she just waiting by the fountain? That's right, just wait there. Celica's gonna get drunk. Um... Experience point water? Hold on, I'm gonna go to the other side and see if there's any water over there. Because it might be a choice thing, and I don't just want to drink it, although experience point water seems pretty damn good. You guys scared? You're cowards, that's what you are. Well, that didn't work. Uh, sorry, let me redo that. <laughs> so, new enemy type. Gargoyles or something. Yeah, they're gargoyles. <laughs> and they have sights. And they are flying terrors. Scythe covered in blood. Well, I guess they can get some diseases in, or diseases in us, I guess. I'll handle this myself. Sadly, Leon can't hit that far. Hit. Hit. Leon's really not doing too much. I mean, I should give him an iron bow now. I think he can use it properly. All right. I'll but, handle um, this. I'm ready for anything. <laughs> Feeling good. I'm ready to roll. Now let's have Jenny do this. Damn it! Everyone's missing like crazy. Okay, Celica, you're gonna seraphim this gargoyle because they're actually kind of scary. I fight to protect what is dear. That worked fantastically. I be like you someday. <laughs> oh, Jenny. Leave it to me. Volbar, do your job and tank everything. Tank the world. surprised. I mean, I am. I expect you have some terrible gross. Huh, so Aura... Well, I guess she can double with fire. That's the thing. Aura's pretty heavy. I'm a little worried about Jenny, though. She's kind of... Actually, you know what? Doesn't matter. We can put, um... Saber up here. Even if he can't kill this guy. He has some decent crit. Like, it's nearly a 1 out of 10 chance to crit, so... That's pretty okay. Ready anytime. And then he can actually thunder. No, he can't. And you're not fast enough to double them, because you're a loser. And I can't put Kamui up there. He has high defense, but he's... Well... Eh... Have fun, Bowie. Sorry, friend. It's like your first hit in like the last five tries. All they had? And it's a crit. So good for you. Now that was impressive. So what are they gonna do? They're going to attack Volbar, as expected. Don't Sadly, it was the weakest one that went for him. Which means the stronger ones are gonna go for Celica and such. Kamui can really do work. One more level, and I think he can become a Mirvidin, too. Yeah, I was kind of afraid of that. And now to kind of fear that flyer that may or may not be coming for May.
Nope, we're good. He's just going after Valdar. Okay, Bowie, we're gonna get you a kill here, hopefully. No, not that one. This one, because you're completely incapable of actually doing anything. You're finished. <sighs> and Leon! Oh, I don't know why you did that. <laughs> so, does he get... No, he doesn't get the advantage against Flyers, because I didn't give him the Iron Bow. Which sucks. But wait, can I have him Convoy and attack him the same turn? Can. Neato. It's not really much of a bonus, it feels like. Um, let's see. Whoops, that's not enough. Oh well. That should heal her up. Go for the terror that's still alive. Maybe I can get a kill for Volbar. I've been kind of ignoring his XP. Ooh, that's a neat animation. Just a shield charge, huh? As for Celica, do you need Thunder to take this guy out now? I want to see what Celica and Alms promotions are like, because I haven't even seen a screenshot. There's a lot of stuff I haven't seen about this game, and I think that's what makes this uh, LP rather unique, is that I think a lot of people that went in to play uh, Shadows of Valentia, and I'm not like trying to uh, say mean things about other LPers here or anything, but I feel like a lot of people either went in a, with complete knowledge of the game, gross and everything, or B, no knowledge of Fire Emblem whatsoever. They're just like, oh, yeah, I'll, I'll try to beat this game. Not that I'm the most knowledgeable in the world, but... i played my fair share of these games, if you haven't noticed. Woo! To move out. And let's try and get one for Bowie. He really needs this. Actually, you know what? Um, well, I bet a promotion will really help Bowie, hopefully. Here it comes. But I feel like mages promote really late. Pretty good, right? Because the way you guys said they get access to white magic really, really late it makes me kind of worry about them. That was amazing! <laughs> get it? Amazing? Because your name's in it? What did I do to deserve the pun comment section? Did the other one just return to where he was at? No, I think they both were involved in that battle. Okay, well that makes things easier for me. Okay, so the other one was the experience fountain. Let's see what this one is. It's the resistance fountain. Definitely... Well, experience is infinite, like, you can grind, so what's the point in that? I mean, I guess if you're doing, like, a pure no-grind one, then it would be, uh, a finite amount. But the way I'm going, I might as well pick resistance. Leon, you need high resistance to start taking out mages. Now I'm gonna give it to Leon. So, does that mean the other one ran dry? Because this one only had two. It didn't have three like most of the other ones did. They are completely separate. Okay. Bowie, it was no question who needed that. I feel myself getting speed! You leveled speed! Um, let's give one to... Kamali, because he hasn't promoted yet.
I think it's seven or eight to promote as a Myrmidon. Apparently, I can get even stronger. Is it actually even possible to get more than four stat growths at once, or is the game cap it? Because I haven't gotten five yet on anyone. Just four. Four is the highest I've ever gotten. Is there a boss down here, or is it just this chest? All right, and the grand treasure is a blessed sword. I knew it. So, um, I'm going to give the blessed sword to Kamui. That means we have an iron sword lying around, which is fine. So, does the blessed sword do flat magic damage? That's what I want to know. Because if so, that... No, it doesn't. A sword said to drive away evil. Yes, Kamui is the face of evil slaying. Oh, before we end the episode, let's make... Whoa, those are some pretty significant stat growths. Good job, Kamui. Don't let your name be tainted by that other Kamui. You're way better than him slash her. Yeah, okay, so it's a generic Mirrodin costume. I don't really get it, but as long as it works, I guess I don't have to. Kamui's a really simple guy. Like, when it comes just to killing people for money, he's like, yeah, it's cool. But when it comes to, like, magic and stuff, he's like, nope, nope, I'm out. <laughs> I don't get this stuff. Anyways, I'm gonna end this episode here. Thank you for watching, and if you enjoyed this episode, please leave a like. It helps out a lot. If you want to become a member of the Dust Brigade, just click subscribe. Thank you, and have a wonderful day. Riding out.